Hey guys, it's your girl Misha Nicole and I am going to show you how I did the pop out effect or how I taught myself how to do it in Canva. And plus for this process, I wanted also this to be a frame. Um, so that's how I did it. So the things that you need, number one, you do need a thick font. This is something that I got from uh, defont.com and this font is called Varsity Team. You can find fonts on Creative Market, Creative Fabrica, Font Space, anywhere. The, but the font just needs to be thick. Then you need your players. Now in this case, I'm using football, but any sport will work, okay? So the first thing that I did was I created a frame. So what I'm gonna do is just add a page and you can create this on any size document. I'm using presentation, but you can use any size that you want. So I'm first just going to take my numbers like so, and we're gonna create a frame from these. So make sure your numbers are in the color black and you're going to download this as a png i'm going to go to download i'm going to change this to png make sure you select the right page done and then download no transparent background none of that next thing you're going to do is you're going to come over here to photop.com okay you can either upload that image directly from your computer or you can drag it and drop it in all right so in this case we're dragging and dropping now, when you come into this page, we're just going to quickly make this a frame and get out of here. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that this background is selected. You're going to right click and you're going to duplicate the layer. Once you see it says layer one, right click, duplicate the layer. So this is now what you should see over here in this layers panel. Remember, the background is selected first, right click, duplicate the layer, go to the next one, duplicate that layer, and this is what you should see, okay? Next, what we're going to do, you want to select layer one and we're going to come up here on this side and we're looking for this little thing right here, look like a little sparkler. You're going to click on that and we want to select magic wand. All right. With layer one selected our magic wand selected, click the number two. You're going to right click and you're going to select make work path. A blue outline should appear. From there, you're going to select layer, vector mask, current path. All right, and do the same thing for number four. Now you're gonna come over here to layer copy one, click that layer, all right? Make sure your magic wand is selected, click the number four, right click, make work path. If the blue outline appears, click on layer, vector mask, current path, and now you have made these frames. So what you need to do now, so you should have something just like this, all right? You're gonna go to file, export as and this needs to be a pdf all right this is going to pop up you can name it i'm going to do name frame pdf2 and then hit save all right it's going to download as a pdf go back to your canva workspace and i am going to upload or drag and drop in this PDF. It's going to come right here under your uploads and then designs. You will see that PDF. You want to click on it and it'll pop directly into your workspace. With this selected, go to position and you're going to see that you have each number and you have them together. Select the one that's together and delete it. All right. Up next, you want to make sure that you keep these letters side by side. Like don't move them because the next step can be kind of tricky um, when we get to that part. So you can select this and hit delete and the frame will appear. So select the four, hit delete. And now we have an empty frame. Okay. We're going to work on one letter, one letter, one number at a time. So we're going to do the number two first. So I'm going to grab my first image and we need two of them. So I'm going to duplicate. Okay, makes it a little bigger so we can see. Drag and drop the image in. And the next thing that you want to do is double click inside this frame so that we can position our image. All right. Now remember he's supposed to pop out. So just decide what areas you want to actually pop out in this particular frame. Because you can make him do whatever it is that you want him to do. All right, so we got him positioned up. Now this next one, I'm gonna do a background remover. I'm going to lower the transparency on it just a little. I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to line this image up directly with the one in the background. Now you may have to play around with this a little until you get everything all lined up, but it should be a good little fit there. 
once it looks good, go ahead and bring back up the transparency and this is what you should have. Now what we have to do is start cropping out the image and again look if it's not right or you see some places that are a little just a little off you can hold down control and then you can just move that around a little. All right so what we need to do is number one we need more of this space up here so we know this is a two so we can start to crop and bring up this way right so grab the bottom of that and start cropping out this image all right so we know we have a uh, the football over here this leg and this arm so with this cropped image we are going to select select it we need to make sure that it's selected and you want to hit duplicate you can hold down the control key and you can line these back up with each other and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna now drag this down. All right, and we're gonna just move this. We're just moving things around. All right. All right, that looks good. So now we do have this little arm over here. So we're gonna duplicate this again, make sure it's lined up, and then hold down that control key. And then now we're gonna start sliding things over this way. Let me zoom out some and we're just cropping, cropping everything out and that looks good. All right. Next thing is we have that leg, remember? So we can duplicate this again, hold control, line everything up. Let's pull this back down and then we're going to start from the top this time and drag this down until we get that leg. All right, and then we can crop this out. There we go. So now we have him popping out the two. All right, now we can go get our next image and do the same thing for four. All right, so I'm gonna get this guy and bring him down. And remember, we need two, so we're going to duplicate and go ahead and drop him in the frame. Double click, stretch out our guy. So, however, you want him to be positioned in this frame, I'm going to do it like so. All right, that looks good. Now, remember, we're going to go ahead and hit the background remover, we're going to lower the transparency, and we're going to hold down control and we're gonna line him up. And we wanna line those images up with each other. All right, that looks pretty good. Now remember, we can bring that transparency back up now. And again, remember, you can always move things around. If you Once you bring that transparency back up, if things look a little off, mm -hmm. if you need to make something smaller, doesn't matter, you can go ahead and fix it, okay? So we know that we need this four showing in the middle. So what we can go ahead and do is hold down that control and start cropping out his body. And then remember, this is a lot of duplicating and cropping. So we're gonna line him back up. We want the football but we don't need the rest of that. All right, and then up next, we can duplicate again. Line it up, and we're gonna do this, we're gonna work, work on this leg down here. Now, you see how this knee is right here? So what we can do is we can hit background remover. And if I'm not mistaken, this should be it. Let's go back out. All right, yep, that was it. So now we were able to cut that off. Now we only got the one leg out and this looks good. So our guy 
is done. He's popping out both letters. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is while these letters, numbers are still here, I am going to go to effects. I am going to go to hollow and I'm going to lower this thickness down some. Once I get it to my desired thickness, I'm going to change this to white. And then what I'm going to do is download this page as a transparent PNG. All right. So we're on page two. I'm going to go to share download. I'm going to go to PNG and I'm going to do transparent background and make sure I select the right page and hit download. Okay. Now, once that is done, I'm going to bring it on this page. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is while this is selected, remember, this is a frame. So hold down control so it does not fall into any of, I mean, this is an image and you don't want it dropping into your frames. So I'm going to change this background color here so that you guys can see. So with this number, I'm going to go to edit and then I am going to go to shadows and then I'm going to go to glow. All right. You can change this intensity and the size to whatever you like. Now, what we're going to do is line this up. As long as you didn't move these letter, these numbers, it should line up just fine. Okay. It's going to be, it should be a perfect little lineup and you may have to move things around a little bit, but it should all line up. Okay. Now we're going to go to position and we want this to be directly on top of those two numbers. And then this is what we have. Okay. Now this is also where you can go in and just double check just to make sure like everything is good. And if it's not, you can come in and do some additional cropping. So like for instance, this little, this leg right here, you can either bring it up some more to connect, right? And then just go through and just make sure you can clean up any missing pieces. You can move those numbers around if you need to, to make sure that everything is nice and covered. All right. Once you got everything all good to go. Uh oh. You can download this as a PNG transparent background. So I'm going to select the purple and just hit delete. And I'm going to go to share, download. And I'm going to do PNG and then I'm going to do a transparent background and hit done and then download. And then there you go. And then now I can start designing anything else that I want to design at this point. So let's do this is a field. And I'm going to lower the transparency on the field. I'm going to click my background color and let's make this like a purple. All right. Now I can bring in my letters. I can also do a background remover. And that'll clean up any, you know, any extra around the sides. And then you can also come in and do edit. And then you can do shadows. And then you can add a drop shadow. All right. And just like that, there's your letters letters. So I keep saying letters. There's your numbers. And this is how I got my pop out effect. So if you find this helpful or you use this, let me know, girl. In the meantime, between time, toodles.